the sustainability imperative. It is not new and does not come from government or from environmental groups. It comes from the earth itself and it has always been there. It is an imperative that flows inexorably from the finite nature of Earth's resources, the atmosphere that sustains life, the water in the seemingly endless oceans, the land with all its mineral riches. These are all finite. What you see is what you've got. This is no different than it ever was. What is different today is that finally there are enough voices calling for better stewardship of the Earth's finite resources, for meeting the needs of the present without compromising the ability of future generations to meet their needs. There exists now the critical mass necessary to initiate and maintain what we might well call a sustainability continuum an unbroken series of links connecting every part of the production food chain, beginning with the most vital link, the consumer. Recent studies show that nearly two in five consumers over 18 years of age make a conscious effort to purchase products from socially responsible companies. Such an impressive demographic cohort cannot truly be ignored, and it is not. So begins the sustainability continuum. Companies wishing to succeed with these consumers must find new ways of doing things, such that their altered practices contribute to greater sustainability. Perhaps by mitigating the adverse effects their processes may have on the air or water or land, those finite earth resources or perhaps by being thriftier in their use of non-renewable energy resources, reducing the rate at which such resources are depleted buys us more time to develop the means to transition to renewable alternatives. An indispensable requirement for the socially conscious, or to use the vernacular, green company, is that it do business with suppliers who also demonstrate a commitment to sustainable practices. These suppliers must in turn demand sustainable practices of their suppliers, and so on, along the entire length of this continuum. PM component fabricators find themselves ideally positioned within the sustainability continuum. The metal forming technology they boast of is a more sustainable process than competing forming technologies on several levels. Conservatively, 85% of the powder used in PM comes from scrap metal sources. PM is a consumer of recycled raw materials. It has a very high material utilization ratio, typically generating less than 3% scrap. As a net shape forming process, it eliminates many energy consuming manufacturing steps, thus achieving great energy efficiency. Sintering furnace emissions contain very few pollutants, and by eliminating many machining operations through net shape forming, PM minimizes the use of cutting lubricants and cleaning fluids. These are but the major ways in which our technology contributes to sustainability. But beyond a sustainable fabrication process, what PM companies can offer their customers are the means to make their processes and their end products more sustainable. For example, by removing excess material from components, all the while maintaining their structural properties, car manufacturers can make their products more energy efficient and thereby reduce CO2 emissions. By making possible novel designs, for example, combining two or more components in a single component, PM fabricators can help their customers reduce assembly steps and the energy inputs they would require. And by being a cost-effective domestic source of components, PM enables customers to avoid offshore sourcing, thereby reducing the consumption of energy that long-distance shipping would otherwise entail. As a net shape metal forming technology, PM has always been, so to speak, green. But the industry has not highlighted this sustainability aspect forcefully enough. To that end, the Metal Powder Industries Federation, 
through its Industry Development Board, is launching an initiative built around a logo to help its members get the word out. PM is a recognized green technology. The logo, which will be featured prominently in our industry marketing efforts, and the available supporting technical material online and in print will make it easier for PM companies to build awareness of their technology's sustainable benefits in the minds of customers. But as the voice of the PM industry, MPIF can only speak for the technology. Individual member companies are the only ones that can explain how their own practices and operations support sustainable manufacturing but they must also look closely at the products they produce for customers through the prism of sustainability, seeking the most compelling examples and making us aware of them so we can get these stories told to the world. Nothing supports our message like unvarnished, reliable data. Together, we can make sure that PM remains a viable part of the sustainability continuum.